On a Birmingham street, one house is attracting a lot of attention. Half new, half 170 years old, it's a zero carbon house. But what does that actually mean? And that means we're not using any fossil fuels in, in the whole house for the heating, the hot water, the lighting, the computers. It's all renewable energy. So, no radiators, just a wood-burning heater for the very coldest days. Air circulation throughout is controlled to avoid wasting heat. And buried in the walls and floor, a membrane to keep drafts out and warmth in. So basically, this is a giant balloon. Yes, it is. How do you know when it's airtight? How do you check? We have a test come. At the end of each job, we have a test on it. And that measures the, uh, the amount of air that he's lost within the building. Doing the air test, it was either going to pass or it wasn't going to pass. Um, and to get back to try and do the details again, it had to rip the building apart. So it was very much a, a one-time hit. Now, not all the green ideas used here take so much work. This ash in the garden provides summer shade but lets in winter sunshine. And these lights look slightly yellower than usual, tricking our brains into thinking it's warmer. Yes, yes, I, I thought that people coming to a house with no heating in it might feel subconsciously, oh, I'm going to be a bit cold. But uh, we've got a much warmer than usual uh, colour temperature on the lights, which means, I hope, subconsciously, people will feel, actually, I'm quite warm in here, it's fine. Now, all of this is pretty cutting-edge green technology, but lessons learned here are already being applied in the real world, and in the first case, to a new generation of eco-vicarages being built in Worcestershire. And in the meantime, there is room to add in a boiler and heating to this model green home, just in case it is needed. David Gregory, BBC Bin, today, Birmingham.